more on the security for today's memorial. It will be unprecedented. And uh, early show national correspondent Jeff Glor has more on that. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Harry, good morning to you. Yeah, it will be. When these plans were first announced, there was talk of a million people crowding the streets of downtown Los Angeles. But police have been actively discouraging people who don't have tickets from showing up. They say they should stay home and watch from home. Right now, we do know of the 20,000 or so who do have tickets. Oh, yes. Lucky online lottery winners from across the country and around the world had just one day to make their way to Dodger Stadium to pick up tickets and wristbands. We prayed and everything, you know. We feel like God. we are millionaires. And I've never won anything in my life, and I've won the tickets, and it's like so surreal. Still, police have a warning for ticket holders. It should be a celebration, be a wonderful event, but don't disrespect anybody by trying to sell those tickets. This fan should be so lucky. He came all the way from Australia hoping he won the ticket lottery and did not. I'll probably watch it on TV at least. Meanwhile, across town at Staples Center, preparations for this memorial are taking place in between a Sunday basketball game and a three-ring circus coming to town on Wednesday. Security is tight. If folks do not have a ticket, if they are not credentialed, they will not be in an area where they can see anything at the Staples or Nokia. The L.A. Visitors Bureau expects a tourism influx. Are you happy with the whole way this is being handled? I would love for somebody to pick up the entire tab. That would be great. This morning, one L.A. council member is calling on the promoter AEG to pick up the entire cost of this service, not just what happens inside, but also the cost of protecting people on surrounding streets. Now, among the big names who will not be here, we're told, Elizabeth Taylor, Whitney Houston, and Debbie Rowe.